Okay, so we all know this is the biggest shopping day of the year, but you might not know it's also the biggest parking day of the year. In the retail business, they call it Black Friday, but in the parking business, they have a different expression. This place is total madness. Mad Friday, as the valets call it, sees cars stacked up three and four deep in the 10-story garage at Ellison O'Farrell. All these cars aren't parked. They're waiting for someone to leave. And a block away, the massive garage under Union Square has also been full since dawn. No parking. No parking. Oh, we're parking on Mission Street, like two blocks from here. Sitting in the shadow of Bloomingdale's, the mother of all garages is at 5th and Mission, or 4th and Mission, or 4th and Minna. The thing basically takes up a whole block. But even the biggest and busiest garage in the whole city spent a good part of the day almost full. We drove here. People still bring their cars, even though parking is... A pain in the you-know-what. And that's because of this. Bags upon bags of holiday gifts, and a car makes a great place to store them while you go back for more. But the storage is expensive. Here at the Sutter and Stockton garage, the first hour is only two bucks. But after eight hours, you'll pay 26. Park all day under the square, and it's $25 or 24 between Ellis and O'Farrell. The giant garage on Mission is the cheapest, eight hours for $20. And it's also the last one to fill up. Remember, there is an alternative. It took less time to get to the city by BART than it has taken to walk around Union Square. It just doesn't help with all this. And now we head into the next mall. For tips on finding a parking space before you even leave home, go to our website, cron4.com. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, Cron4 News.